a remote northern wilderness, a land of epic extremes. A world of darkness and perpetual light. From vibrant forests to frozen wastelands, harsh and untamed, where life thrives against the odds, dazzling in its diversity. These are the wilds of Scandinavia. Scandinavia is smothered with a bitter blanket of ice and snow. Food is locked away, and life grinds to a standstill. But once a year, wild residents of these lands are offered a lifeline. For a few short months, the snow retreats. Lush land is revealed. Animals emerge, and the race for life is on. All creatures must make the most of this short window of opportunity. It's a race to mate, for newborns to grow, and build up experience and fitness before winter strikes again. But life here is never easy. Scandinavia is a land of predators and giants. And for its newest inhabitants, a race for life is riddled with uncertainty and death. As the weather warms, the bear's biological clock starts ticking. A den dug last fall protected this adult male while he slept through the hellish weather. Brown bears are powerful, top of the food chain predators, built for survival. Yet they hibernate for up to seven months of the year. These are no teddy bears. A fully grown adult can weigh up to a thousand pounds. And when standing on hind legs, can tower at an intimidating eight feet tall. The receding snow reveals new food sources. And our marauding male has a lot of catching up to do. He's roamed these forests for years and knows them well. Now is the time to make the most of them. Starved for over half the year, he needs to double or even triple his weight before the winter returns once again. His race has begun. Situated between Canada and Russia, five countries and almost 60,000 miles of coastline make up the region known as Scandinavia. Its most northern reaches push deep into the Arctic Circle. Temperatures here can plummet to minus 58 degrees. A cold which could render humans unconscious and prove deadly to the unprepared. It's hard to believe that anything can survive such relentless, brutal cold. But life does exist here. In Iceland, the Arctic foxes endure winter's worst. 
foraging for what little food they can find. Protected only by their thick, furry coats. But even the bitter cold doesn't dampen nature's desire. winter finally releases its grip, exposing a scarred and rugged terrain. Created by its fiery heart and eroded by the harsh Nordic elements. Active volcanoes, frozen glaciers, and boiling geysers contribute to Iceland's extraordinary appearance. Amidst its inhospitable coastline, a beachside den reveals the result of icy liaisons. Ten demanding, hungry cubs. But even with winter gone, life here is far from easy. Arctic fox parents share the responsibility of bringing up their young. While one looks after the cubs, the other searches for food. But this family has a problem. Dad has been missing for several days. And by now, there's little hope that he'll ever return. This mother is left to protect and provide for these cubs on her own. She has her work cut out. Life as a single mother is hard enough at the best of times. But this new family is in real danger. An uninvited male has been pacing her territory. As long as he's hanging around, the vixen won't want to leave her den. Without her mate, the cubs have no protection. But she's getting weak and is desperate to eat, both to replenish her own energy and provide milk for her litter. If she doesn't act now, None of them will survive. The northern forests of Scandinavia dominate the land. 75% of Finland and over half of Sweden is covered by dense woodland. Over 3,000 brown bears wander these northern forests. And for most of the time, it's a solitary existence. Adult males roam areas of over 500 square miles, so protecting every bit of their territory isn't a high priority. They are, however, protective of their social status. Being big and bad in the bear world works in your favor. Urinating, defecating, rubbing, scratching, and biting trees are all signposts there to be noticed, warning off any lesser rivals. But this social dominance isn't just practice between the boys. Adult males have been known to kill the cubs of unknown females if he thinks the cubs aren't his. He, of course, wants to pass his genes on to future generations. Female brown bears roam smaller areas than the males and can be more defensive of their patch, especially when they have young cubs in tow. Mom is teacher and bodyguard until the cubs are old enough to look after themselves. 
For this family, it's the first ever summer out of hibernation. And their forest home has become boot camp. Here they will learn the bare essentials of survival, copying adult behavior used every day in the forest. Negotiating obstacles. Searching out food. Scare tactics. Advanced fighting techniques. Extreme tree climbing. And a good old back scratch. For the Cubs, it's all fun and games under the constant watch of their mother. But they are learning and practicing valuable skills to prepare them for life in the dangerous forests of Scandinavia. And the recruits are about to get their first taste of the real world. A wandering adult male walks right into the path of the family. Boot camp just got serious. In the western fjords of Iceland, and with winter a distant memory, it's time for a change of wardrobe. Our single mother is shedding her coat. The Arctic foxes have the most insulating winter coat of all mammals. The densely packed, long, fine fur traps the air and protects their body when temperatures drop. But with the brief respite from the weather, it's out with the old and in with the new. The result is more patchwork quilt than high street fashion. But her appearance is her least concern. She's still without her mate and juggling a relentless search for food with childcare. All the time she's away, her 10 hungry cubs are home alone. In Iceland, Arctic foxes mainly eat seabirds. The smallest of which are drawn to Scandinavia's islands and the summer's snow-free cliffs. Hundreds of miles from the breeding ground, our vixen is desperate for food. Here on her territory, very few seabirds come to breed limiting her choice. The tide delivers her a lifeline. This fish will give her some strength to pass on to her cubs. But mealtime is cut short. Her oh. eye is drawn to a potential threat. A prowler is on the horizon. She must get back to her cubs, or the intruder might beat her to it. In Finland, this adult male bear has taken a step too close to the protective mother and her three young cubs. Bear fights can be deadly. Rather than risk a confrontation, 